Yo, what's up, hello, my name is Lakasario from New Dojo, and I'm your sensei for today. And um, today, I just want to talk about Fortnite Editor, and um, it's kind of an addition to Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine is more like giving you the ability to create a level in Fortnite, and you could play it in there, create animations and cinematic directly in there, and play it directly in the game. And, and this is not the first time I'm seeing something like that. And uh, I've seen it before with um, Cry Engine, where they did it for Far Cry, and um, it got a lot of people into game development. Uh, people like Joe Garth of Brashify, and uh, yeah, that is how it's gonna be. So I think that they are trying to get people um, into Unreal Engine, especially the young ones. So let's get straight into this tutorial. So if you really want to download um, the Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you just have to go to the store. You don't need to go to Unreal Engine. You need to go to the store. Um, you could get it directly here. All you need to do is to click it and add it to your library. You go into your library. It'll be here. The thing is that you need it with Fortnite. All right, you need it with Fortnite. So you need to add Fortnite and um, the editor together. You download, it will download both of them. So I have it already downloaded. I'm just going to click it and launch it. What you're going to do when you if you want to set up your own project i already have a project here but i'm not going to open it it's kind of similar to unreal engine and how um js films will say it's kind of like the baby ue5 if you actually want to set up this you just have to go to the island template and just click on blank you can use any of these here but i want to set it up blank at least to try out some landscaping in there for you to you know get acquainted with it so let's create a blank okay so when you create a blank space this is what you're gonna get this is actually more like um the player spawner in fortnite uh, i'm just gonna delete all of these uh Um, I'll just go to selection mode and select landscape. I'm just going to create um, a 33 by 33 square. It's okay. There's going to be something small. Okay, so I have already have my materials applied to it. I think it comes out of the box. Um, you can see we have some grass on this landscape. And uh, we could sculpt it. We could sculpt the landscape, you know, give it some form of a shape. So if I want no hustle, I could just drag this in and I have a building in there. Yeah. So this kind of my house. Yep. My beautiful house <laughs> okay so if i want to paint a material on the landscape i just have to go to the paint and then paint with some materials up here i wish that i could go into the materials and check out the hood what's under the hood but it's not possible with this project. I think they've restricted us in many ways. So we can actually go into it. So if I want to add something like um, an ocean, I could just search for ocean. And I'm going to get this. So I'm just going to put it around here. Let's wait for it to load. And I'm going to get my ocean in there. Let me try like pushing it out of the landscape. If you've been using Unreal Engine, you will know that this ocean uh, can be achieved also in Unreal Engine with um, with a water plugin in Unreal Engine. So yeah, 
could try dragging this out here and there here you know i'm not trying to like create something crazy i'm just you know playing around with it nothing serious <laughs> okay and if i want to add maybe like a river i could just type river and everything is in the content they've placed everything in the content all you need to do is just go into the content and you know get used to what is going on in there you can see the river is blending well with the with the landscape If I wanna like um, bring this down, yep, in the, I'll push this up. You just, okay. so, and if I wanna add something like a lake, I just have to type lake. Um, if that is actually in there, yeah, we have a lake. So I could also put a lake in there. Yep. So basically you can do it like a lot of stuff with this um uh, could do a lot of stuff with this if you have the time you could like detail up whatever that is in here so getting this kind of basic shape of landscape here if i want to play and get into like this level and play the game in here i can what i can do is uh, i'm just going to type in player if could find that in here and just put a player start here yep and i could also put this one also there what I can do to play this level is by just launching the section all you need to do is that click live edit you need to check this out and um, you also need to check this and play on this pc connect to platform no All right, so as you can see now, I have my character in there and I can play my map. There's actually the map that I just created. It's weird, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go into the, the room, let's see. I'm just gonna like, let's go through. That's like your normal um, Fortnite, I think. Let me check the settings here. Um, 1080, 120 FPS. Let me just try turning on this. See how much FPS that I'm getting here. Getting around like 100, yeah, 111, there about. Yeah. No, I actually pushed it so high. So, building that I placed in there. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm not like a Fortnite fan. <laughs> yeah sorry to say but when i move around my map why i could build yes just like fortnite exactly just like fortnite so okay so let's move around the 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 island that i just created so I could just run. So I think that's the reason why it's but there's a test project, you get the idea. Yeah, so my level is playable, everything is playable right here, and uh, it's great, right? Inventory. Alright, so I'm just gonna end the tutorial here, and what I can say about this whole fortnite editor is it was actually made so that you get more like used to unreal engine like get a lot of people into unreal engine as i said before cry engine did the same for far cry and uh, it got a lot of people into game development because they were able to build like maps 
and play it directly in the Far Cry game. So Unreal Engine is doing the same, and I think that that's what they are trying to do here. So just get used to it, download it, play with it, create your own map, share with your friends, and you can share it with me. And I'm going to play it. I'm going to check out the map that you created, you know. So I'm going to end with this and saying that if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And also click on the bell button to get notified whenever I post new tutorial. If you want me to go deeper into this, you can also leave a comment down there. And I'm going to do a tutorial, deep, a deep dive into this tutorial. See you on the next one, clockwise.